I hate Yakuza the game. I hate how addicted I am to this franchise already. I've become locked into this game and I haven't even finished this game. I became locked in as soon as I finished the first chapter of this game. I had very low expectations going into this game. Not because I think the game was going bad, but because I've never had an experience like Yakuza before. In fact, I've never had an experience of a game that wasn't a pixel game. So I didn't know what to expect from Yakuza. And even after completing the first chapter, which uh, that first chapter had me locked in ever since. But even after completing that first chapter, what I thought I expected wasn't what I expected and went beyond what I thought I expected. I'm a fan of a good mafia movie. Godfather 1, Godfather 2, Godfather 3, Reservoir Dogs, Heat, The Irishman. I love watching those movies, but even watching those movies didn't touch me the way Yakuza touched me. Pause. But the way this story by chapter 2, thinking, oh man, I know what you're putting down. And to think, they can make a very compelling story of the mafia without the gun, and then I get to this freaking scene. And, and I'm like, wait, you guys have guns? And this just shook me to my core, and I'm like, whoa, threw me for a freaking loop. I thought we were just throwing hands, hard hands, but now some of these guys are straight cheating, and they got guns. And I'm like, man, that just makes the story that much compelling in my eyes, because I'm like, how are you supposed to compete when the other dude got a gun, and you only got your hands? But somehow, it actually works. It actually surprised me how it's the gameplay is so is actually pretty good. I was surprised. I thought the gameplay didn't matter and I just had to speed through the fighting scene just to get to the story. But the gameplay or the fighting sections were actually really good and enjoyable. And actually had made me think that damn, I can't just spam my buttons. I actually have to maneuver around this crowd of people to get away from the right people and hit the right people. And then there's the fact you have three different fighting styles to your liking me thinking okay you just choose which one you like the most focus on but they actually have a use to which one you have to use depending on if you're going solo or you're fighting a crown they each have their cons and pros and you have to use them all simultaneously and i kind of struggled until later in the game when i actually started using all three of my fighting styles but i will say this this game cheats and it cheats hard just when I think I have mastered my fighting styles, giving them all the three piece combos and the finisher, which by the way, ah, icing on the cake. Those finishers are just looking nice. I'm glad they added that because I really needed that to take my stress out on some of these NPCs because man, some of these NPCs are weave nation. I'm throwing all my good hits out. They just weave to the side, weave to the side. And then there are some bosses that just only weave and only hit you when you try to hit like bro i just spent half of this game just giving everybody a, a family meal now all of a sudden i have to start actually planning my hits and let's not forget the fact that even the npc random encounter fights also started weaving and even after they can start a weaving they also started ganging up like i mean really ganging up like as soon as i stand up they start throwing out their peace combos and make me fall down again and they do it almost each and every time that i can't even get a hit in as soon as i try to get my combo started another one just jumps on and breaks my combo it's like damn i would believe you if you told me the game learns your style and your style of gameplay and starts figuring out way to break it so you have to learn even more ways to be creative which makes me sad to say I've actually died a few times to the random encounters. I'm not going to show that. That's embarrassing. And to think that this has two great stories in one game. Sort of like a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You may not like one part, but there's no way you're not going to like any parts. No way. And to think I have not completed the final chapter before this video. Because I just know. I just know. I just have a feeling in my gut. It's going to throw me for another loop. So I'm just here grinding.